my favorite game, Monopoly. Playing games is my favorite pastime, and I like to play both indoors and outdoors. I play indoor board games with my parents and my sister on Sunday evenings. Most of the time, we play the board game Monopoly on Sunday evenings, but sometimes I like to play other board games like Chinese checkers also. I love to go outdoors to play cricket and hide and seek with my friends, but nowadays, nobody goes to the playground. So, now my favorite game is Monopoly. The best part about this board game is that only two players can play it and also eight players can play it together. When our parents are busy with their work and household chores, my sister and I take the board game to the terrace and play over there. These days, our parents and grandma join us in the game late in the evenings and all of us have a great time playing it. There are a total of 40 spaces on the board and there is a pair of dice that each of us rolls on the board to begin the game. There are go, jail, go to jail and free parking boxes on the four corners of the Monopoly board. We have to begin at go and move our game tokens as many spaces as the number on the dices. We can buy or build spaces from a total of 22 properties, electric company, waterworks, and four railway stations. Some of the spaces on the board are marked as community chests and chances, luxury tax, and income tax. There is a set of chance and community chest cards that is kept at the center of the Monopoly board. In this board game, each player gets a game token to move on the board and one of us plays a banker. The banker is in charge of all the money and distributes a total of 1,500 game money to each player. When all of us play Monopoly, my grandma plays a banker and keeps all her share of 1,500 game money in a red colored case. The banker is in charge of the houses, hotels, and deed cards. Every time each of us passes a go space, the bank rewards 200 game money to the player. When we purchase a space on the board, we pay the bank for it and our grandma gives us the deed card for that space in return. When any player happens to visit a space owned by another player, he has to pay the rent on that space. The rent increases if the owner has houses or hotels in that space. The bank collects taxes from the players when they happen to visit that income tax box. When any of us has to visit the jail space and misses his or her chance to play or pays a fine. The game continues for a long time until we all get tired and decide who the winner is. The player who has the maximum game money and property is crowned as the winner. Most of the time, my father wins a game and he treats us with ice cream when he wins. This board game has become my favorite during this vacation.